lovely. How are you all? Welcome back to another vlog. This is week three. Check me out, Little Miss Consistent. Um, so if you are already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. If you're new here, if you've just found me, I don't know how you did but I'm really glad that you did. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really love to have you here. It's currently Saturday morning. Oh, if you guys don't know, I planned a beach day today, right? Right? So I've woke up this morning. <laughs> Mother Nature's been messing with me. She does not want to be my friend. It's really overcast. It's really overcast or overcast. Whatever, it's that. It's grey. I've been up since 3.30. <laughs> Done so much. Had a full face of makeup by like, I don't know, five past six. Brett's still in bed, fast asleep. But I just wanted to show you, I, I don't care what's happening today. I'm going out on an adventure. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna end up on a beach somewhere. Um, I've even bought myself some bikini bottoms that are actual bottoms, that actually has a bottom that covers your cheeks because I normally wear a thong to the beach, a thong bikini, but I still have my dressing on from having my mole removed, so we need to protect it, so yeah. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know that I can't do anything without putting it on my YouTube channel, right? Without showing you guys first. So when I pick things up, I have to show you before I style it, before I can get it out of the bag. So when we were in the shopping center yesterday, there was a few little bits that were reduced that needed to come home with me. Like, I was in the store alone, which is a mistake for bread, but there were some bits that were just shouting to me. They were just like, cow, Cal, Cal, can we come home with you? And I was like, guys, no. Okay, some of you. So let me show you what I got. Let me, let me, let me. It's a big bag. It's, um, no! oh my God. It's from that shop that I think is called Jerk. Oh no, Jusk, something like that. Um, but it was all reduced. So what was I gonna do? Also, on the way home last night, when Brett was carrying this bag, we were having a discussion. I think I could fit into that bag and Brett could just carry me around all the time. Stay tuned, let's see if it happens. Right, so first things that I got, I got four of these. Um, they're like the boxy, you know, seat covers, but they're in this gorgeous gray and cream. Like, it's not floral, it's like, I'm gonna say an Aztec print. I don't know if that's technically true. And you can also carry them. Why would you carry them? I don't know what they were reduced from, but I know that they were down to five euros each. So I got four of those. I actually wanted them for my garden bench, but I would need eight of them. So that's not gonna work. So possibly my dining room table and chairs. So yeah, four of those, four of those, four of those. Okay. Are you ready for this? This is like, this is like the vase of dreams. It's like, step aside Zara home, back off H&M home. No, don't do that because I really enjoy those. But, here we go, here we go, here we go. Woohoo! Look at this. How cute is this? It's like, it's, what well, it's like concrete it looks like concrete it's exactly the same inside it's gray it looks white but it is like the lightest of grays but i'm thinking in my hello hello <laughs> i'm thinking i'm gonna keep it as a musical instrument i'm thinking in my bedroom with lots of real green foliage from my tree but I will insert a picture of how it's all styled up. Only this one, because, I mean, seat pads are seat pads. They're going to be on a seat, be in a pad, be in a pad. <laughs> so, yeah, that one. And then I got, oh, just a little teeny-weeny 
natural bath mat for Faith's bathroom because she doesn't have one and I'm sick. I keep calling her like Faith Nine Towels. Like she has to have a towel to step on, a towel to put around her, a towel for her hair and a towel to dry herself. I'm going to buy her a bindi and a bath mat. So yeah, it's like this olivey green colour and that was reduced down to £2.50. I didn't tell you how much the vase was. I don't even know if this was reduced. <laughs> but it was 20 quid. But I loved it. I just loved it, okay? I, I haven't got to justify myself. <laughs> I'm saying that, but I'm sat here thinking, God, Brett, I hope you can't hear me right now. Um, what else did I get? Oh, that was it from there. The only other thing I picked up yesterday was this gorgeous little uh, ankle bracelet. Uh, can you see? Yeah, so like rainbow, rainbow colours with a little mermaid tail. I got this from the China shop for a buck. A buck fifty. No, it was one euro. But I just loved it. I was just thinking beach summer vibes. So yeah, that's it, my gorgeous is. Did you see the ring like jump into action then? Um, I'm going to go and make a coffee. To think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty, but you came along and showed me how to love without limits, to have a good time. My glass was always half empty. Welcome back. It's Sunday. I've actually finished work a little bit early today because the weather's been a bit funky. You know, you probably can't tell. And I mean, it's still 30 degrees. Oh, still, still really warm. Yeah, so I've just uploaded my week two vlog. Oh, it just gets me all excited, gives me all the good feels. Um, and can I just say, yesterday I was a terrible vlogger. I know, we went out to shoot some content and then Brett and I were on the beach for about four hours. And honestly, all we did was sleep and swim. And it was much needed. It was much needed. It was like, yeah, it was really lovely. Um, so I will, I have, I think already, inserted some pictures that we took yesterday. Um, but now I am just off to Lidl. When I say I, we, um, just to do our groceries. And I think tonight we're gonna cook steak, aren't we? Chimichurri steak. Um, so I'll show you that. But yeah, let's let's go and do some groceries together. My booze, all right. Hey guys, so we are back from Lidl. We've just done a few little bits, just got a few grocery bits, but I'm just gonna show you now what we picked up. Also, the whole kitchen is set up for filming right now, so I'm making Brett this like chimichurri steak thing, I don't know. Um, when I say I'm making Brett, what I mean is Brett's gonna make it and I'm gonna film it, because that's the way it works in our kitchen. Um, but I'm just gonna show you the little bits, because do you know what? I love seeing what people pick up for their groceries. And obviously, I don't have like Tesco's or um, what do I have? Like Asda, Marks and Spencer's food, Waitrose. I don't have anything like that. I have Mercadona, Lidl, but exciting news. We have got an Audi coming here really soon, maybe before Christmas, which gets me excited. So let me just show you what we picked up. Okay, so super basic you know let's start back here so brett wants to do pancakes later so he got those bits but for his pancakes mm -hmm. look at him he's such a diva um blueberry sauce syrup um matches yeah they're yummy with your sunday lunch i picked up some chickpeas which i think are chickpeas they're not normally a normal thing for me to get brett got some of his high protein yogurts we got some fruit, we got some 
Oh, let me just. Oh, guys, I don't know what this is, but it looks really good on my food. It smells like crap. Cilantro. What? Whatever. If you know what it is, tell me. Um, we got some steak because the, the steak that I'm cooking but tonight is out of my keto cookbook. I don't really like steak, but I'm going to go with it. I got some couscous, which is the tabbouleh one. Like, I don't know. Um, cottage cheese. I got some makeup wipes. Brett bought himself some crisps because that's what he does. But I'm just going to get all this put away and then we'll do some cooking together. It's frying steak and putting some sauce on it. But, you know, for me, it's a step forward. to the gym can you even believe it Monday morning it's like 10 to 9 I don't start working till like 11 but I'm off to the gym and I am literally wearing you can't see hang on hang on just a hot minute sorry sorry how me whoa whoa cow is that a look or is that a look? <laughs> We're off to the gym, I'll see you there. Morning. I've got you propped up. Morning. 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 Morning first time in a hot minute that I have been to the gym pre-work so I wouldn't normally wear this to the gym I am gonna have to go straight out on the pools afterwards so last week I did insert like a little workout of what I did I don't know if it helped any of you I mean it made my ass hurt but that's a good thing so I may do that again today and I'll see you at the gym now. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. That's what I like about you. Keep 
You don't care what people say, people say, people say I'm going crazy for you, baby Don't know how you're making me feel this way, what can I say? That's what I like about you Holy mother of shit balls. <laughs> I just finished the gym. When is it going to get easier? Tell me, when is it going to get... I mean, I did enjoy it. That was not good fun, but it was okay. And I'm really glad that I've done it. I've just been and got myself a little coffee. And now I'm heading to work. Like this. But can I just... Ooh. Double wear. You got me, babe. You got me. An hour in the gym and now I'm gonna go and do six hours on the pools. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Guys, just a little bit of information for you. Um, if you're in the sun, double wear works, bare minerals doesn't. It doesn't stay on your face at all. I've done, you would have seen actually, I've done one pull this morning. I've got two to do this afternoon. Um, so I'll show you those as well. But yeah, I went to the gym this morning. You would have also seen that. You would have known that I've been to the gym. And I have literally, before I even got to work, sweated off all my makeup. What is the plan for tonight? Well, next, you are gonna see my next two pools. They're very beautiful pools. And then I have to pop to Mercadona to pick up a birthday cake and then we are out tonight for Indian food. Indian's not my favorite, 
but it's the birthday girl's favourite, so we're going for Indian food. Um, but I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'll see you all in a minute. Me, I'm minging. Just. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I know it's Wednesday because I've got the day off and I hope that you can hear me okay, it's not too windy. I am currently in Rosario. No, you're not, you stupid girl. I'm in Coraleco. Um, I've just met up with friends and had a lovely breakfast date and a chia bowl, which was yum. Um, and now I'm heading into Rosario to do, what am I doing? What are you doing in Rosario? Oh, I'm doing my 50 pound home challenge. Exciting. So I'm gonna take you. Let's go and have a good day. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty, but you came along and showed me how. vlogger goes to me I'm sorry guys where where were we where were we last together I think we were having coffee and then I was going off to do my 50 euro challenge so you guys you wouldn't have seen it before because I've not vlogged it before but once a month I allow myself 50 euros to do a budget home shop. So little things like, you know, complete necessities like cushions and, you know, mugs and vases, like the complete necessities that you just cannot l live your daily life without. All right, they're not necessities, but in Cal's world, I need them and I need them for my home. So. I have been off and done my 50 euro challenge for home bits, so I thought I would just share it with you now, just show you the bits that I got, because I am proud of myself. The things that you can get for 50 euros is, is quite a lot, you know. So I'm literally just sat here in my slippers, in my office, just showing you. It's currently 10 to 9. I've not eaten dinner yet. I've, I'm not being that girl but I want to show you guys. I want to show you because I can't, I can't put it out until I've shown you. It's like it doesn't exist. So, it's a big, it's a big old bag. I don't need to lift it up because it's not a sudden. Oh, I can't lift it up anyway. All right, so all of this stuff, I need to take my cardigan off. Have you <laughs> all of this cut, all of this cuff, to all of this stuff come to came to less than 50 euros let me show you so the first place I went was just again because you know they have some bargains when they've got stuff in the sale you know it's pretty good right the first thing let me show you one that's proper hang on 
wait a minute. Oh, all tangled up. So the, this like trailing, it's real. It's not real. I can't keep a plant alive to save my life. But this was reduced to three euros in that Jusk shop. So Faith has some of these in her room and I have them all over the house. But for three euros, I think Ikea are like seven euros. So I bought one, two, three. <laughs> Four, four sexy little greenery. Greenery in any room. See what I'm saying about essentials though? It's an essential, it's a necessity. They're good for your breathing plants, you know? <laughs> so I've got four of those. Then, what are you gonna put them in? Oh, I don't know. What I could really do with is a really cute little vase. Look! Look how cute! Seven euros in Jusk. Can you see what it's called? Is that upside down? Possibly. Seven euros. Wait, let's show you. What's it gonna look like though, Kel? Is it gonna look perfect? I think it is, babe. I think it is. Um, I also needed to get one for... Another one? Look at me go. This one was reduced to 350 and it's got like a little leather trim on there. I thought that was the price for a second, but it's not. Cute, right? Grey, grey. This week's done now. Know what you're doing, girl. Yeah, I really like that, but I don't like that bag in there. This week's done now. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I'm not adding it up, but I know that it came to less than 50 for everything. And then, look at these. So I need, I need like some, I say artwork, Faith says frames. In my landing, I will show you, maybe I'll show you tomorrow because Brett did some hanging planty things in my hallway. It's such a big space, I will show you tomorrow, I promise. Kel Honor. Kel's honour. Dip, dip, whatever. I forgot where I was going. Yeah, so I needed some artwork on one of the walls. So, these were, get ready for this. I mean, I've not been sponsored by Decenio yet, if you're watching, Mrs. Decenio, I'm ready for you. This one. Girls can do anything. Yes, they can. And for £2.50, in a white frame, this girl can do anything. Next to it, £2.50. Can you see? No, my ring light is making a vibe. And then I just needed a little one to go with it. Life is... What? What happens when you're busy making other plans. There should be a degree in that. But how cute are those three gonna look together on the wall? Oh, that one there was £1.50. So what did I say, £2.50, £2.50, £1.50. Bargain, I know. I also had to get Faith, well, it was reduced from £5 to £2.50, so I just picked her up a little towel for her bathroom. She's trying to get, you know when you move into a house, I spent a lot of time and energy making my own suite look really pretty. I didn't spend that time on face bathroom. And now she's starting to question my loyalties to her. So I'm now helping. But I also got her a little grey ceramic soap dish. £5.20? £2.50. Next, Ooh, my babes, this is my favourite thing ever. So for £8.99, see that cushion over there? There. Guys, can we just check out the guns? I've been to the gym twice this week and I know. It's a really pretty little cushion, but it's not enough. It needs a little 
Summon, summon. I don't know what. I do know what. Because for eight pounds, euros, 50. Hello. Hello, gorgeous pom-pom cushion with green, what's it, midi what's it? And pink stitching. Let's put it there. Wait, I'm attached to the thing, so let's see. No judging me, short shorts, all right? Wait, wait. That basket is where the cushions go to die. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. I love it. What else did we get? I'm nearly getting to the end, guys. Don't stress. Oh, I also got myself another little foliage. Now, I'm not sure how I can't remember. I can tell you. Wrong shop. No, I can't tell you. Wrong shop. Oh, man. Well, I don't think that it was any more than two quid. But it's cute. Coming back into shop. Coming back into shop. Bear with, bear with. So, oh, the next thing I got, because I am now heavily into the iced coffee thing. Heavily. I don't know what's happened to me and it means that I have a tiny bit of syrup in there rather than two sugars. So my coffee cup is about this big. I still have two sugars. If my coffee cup was that big, I'd have eight sugars. So I'm trying really hard not to have any sugars. So with my iced coffee, I literally, I'll show you tomorrow morning how I do it, but I just have a tiny little bit of skinny syrup. So I needed, I needed an Instagram glass for my skinny, can you tell it's 10 to 9 for my iced coffee so I saw this one and just thought oh it's pretty and this was two quid two euros but it's quite heavy duty like a proper jing glass just for me especially for me oh and then just two more little bits I picked up some lentil I'm okay. Some lentil chips. They were a euro each. This is jalapeno and lime. It doesn't say flavour, it says taste. Jalapeno and lime. And the next one is maple and bacon. Only 17% fat and 13% protein. Vegan and vegetarian friendly. It's just for... When Brett gets out the walkers or the lays over here or the pringles and i just smell them and my mouth starts to water and i think about all the horrible things that i'm going to do to him just so i can get my hands on a pringle no have yourself a little pea protein lentil snack save yourself from doing time so yeah that's all my little bits that i got 50 euro home challenge completed. Have a little look of what's going on here now. Let's just take you off. Come on. Okay, what's going on here, Carol? Right. Right. Loads of mess. Loads of nonsense. So I'm going to go and have some dinner now and I will catch up with you all in the morning. Good morning. Happy, happy day to you. Happy Thursday. I am currently just getting ready for work. I've done my face. I need to do my hair. Guys, I do, I'm running out of things to do to my hair because it's, I like a lip gloss. No, it's getting so hard to style now because of the roots. I've definitely left it too long in between hair appointments. For sure. So I'm just going to try and. I just don't know. Come on now. Um, yeah, look at that. Like zebra or what? Um, what are we doing today? 
I've got a day on the pool, so I'm back to work today. I do need to pop into Naughty Sir. Norte Sir. Not right, Cal, in English or your Spanglish. But it's like a big home shop, and I'm looking for some tall eucalyptus because not like a plant but like a uh, like stems because let me tell you my dilemma i have got in my bedroom i have a chest of drawers and then i have the tv on the wall now i wanted the tv on the wall but i wanted the plugs to be hidden but apparently they just have to stick out at the bottom which messes with me all the time so i bought a really big vase and i thought if i stuck eucalyptus in there but really tall ones really bushy ones it wouldn't show the plug and we'd be all right we won't be able to see the tv screen but that's fine with me too so i'm going to pop in there i'm going to renew my gym membership i'm at here I'm actually going to reapply it in Coraleco, which is where we live. I've currently been training in Rosario on my way to work, but I would much rather... Oh, cow. Be one classy bird, babe. I would much rather train in Coraleco, you know, at home, so I can go quite early, or I could go after I finish work. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm also hoping and praying, oh, Brett's home. Can you hear that crash banging? He's just been walking, Chico. I think, what well, is the time? 9.40. So, you know, is that a puffy? Oh, come on. Um, yeah, I'm also hoping to go for a walk tonight because I know I'm not going to be able to train. Faith is putting me to shame right now. She's training more than I am. So yeah, we're gonna get all those things done today. I'm not sure what, what bits I'm gonna take you with me, with me for, but let's go and have a good Thursday. I woke up this morning at about 2.30 and I couldn't get back to sleep until 4.30, so I just went downstairs and did some housework. <laughs> Brett always thinks the fairies have been, like in the middle of the night. I unloaded the dishwasher and loaded it and cleaned all the surfaces, you're boring me, I'm boring myself. So I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna get my bits done and I'll see you somewhere, not sure where. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious, idiots thinking it to keep me company downtown before the clock runs out good morning it's friday wow cow i can see it blinking tummy button the day is there right we are off to the gym this morning today is the first day actually that i'm going to be doing anything with my tush because i've been worried about my little mole situation but i am going to be doing some deadlift today but guys like can i just say i'm feeling it's just been a couple of weeks but i'm feeling good like i haven't pushed myself massively i haven't thrown myself into it a gazillion percent i don't know if i can show you what my tissue's looking in mm, i can't really show you but i've still got my massively protruding mum tum but i'm feeling good so i'm going to take you with me i'm not going to show you my whole workout just let me know if you want to see you know the way that i format my workout and i show you what it is but i just want you to know that you know day one is better than no day you know we all hate it we hate going back to the gym or if you've never been to the gym before it's horrible it's like an evil evil thing that we build up to be this massive thing in our head and it's really not like it's just you know the only person that is going to benefit from you going to the gym is you 
So just do it, but not even the gym, like walking. Tonight when I get back from work, I'm gonna do the walk to the beach again. But like without overcomplicating it, for me, the way I see it right now, I'm not doing, I'm not counting calories. I'm not doing macros. I'm not doing all of that malarkey. I am just moving my body. So moving more and eating less. Not even eating less, but eating less crap. Right, so I'm gonna go to the gym, then to work, and I'll see you all in a bit.